It was a landmark day for Oklahoma, one garnering national headlines. The governor signing a bill banning nearly all abortions, making it a felony for doctors to perform one. Well, this evening we're fact checking some claims floating around on social media about the new law. News Force Austin Brissett joining us with the new information. What'd you find out, Austin? Well, Kevin, one of them is a claim that a majority of Oklahomans support this recently passed legislation, and another is a legal claim. Now, we checked into both of those, speaking to separate lawmakers and an attorney, and here's what we found. It was a thrilling day. Uh, potentially, it is a historic date in the state of Oklahoma, possibly stopping abortion for good and completely. What we continue to see is just this attack on reproductive rights. Governor Kevin Stitt signing one of the most restrictive abortion laws in the country Tuesday. Starting in August, doctors can face a felony charge up to 10 years in prison and $100,000 in fines if they perform one. I represent all 4 million Oklahomans. They overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly do not support abortions in the state of Oklahoma. But is that the case? A Pew Research article from 2020 highlights one of their studies from 2014, showing 51% of Oklahomans supported legal abortion in all or most cases, with 45% on the other end. Pew saying they're comfortable using 2014 survey data because, quote, public opinion on abortion in the United States has been relatively stable in recent decades. Republican representative and author of the bill, Jim Olson, saying aside from the state's bigger cities, he doesn't believe that's true. My experience from being around the state, emails, phone calls, uh, Oklahoma to me seems very strongly uh, pro life. I think Republicans are simply out of touch with what Oklahomans actually want. Um, they, they don't want people at the state capitol meddling in their personal lives. Another claim that a rapist could spend less time in prison than a doctor who performs an abortion. Attorney Ed Blau tells us theoretically that's true, with first degree rape having a minimum sentence of five years in Oklahoma. Depending on the jury, depending on the judge, depending on the prosecutor, it is absolutely possible that the alleged rapist could get less time than the doctor who performed the abortion. But it has a maximum of life. Blau saying every case is different, though leaving no guarantee. I have seen someone charged with first degree rape receive probation. I have seen someone charged with first degree rape be convicted and be sentenced to life in prison. It's literally impossible to say what could happen in any given case. Well, the Center for Reproductive Rights has released a statement speaking about legal action against the law. That and several other statements, including from the White House press secretary, can be viewed on our website.